Hi and welcome back to another episode on how to hack. So today we'll be discussing about the use of Ghost Framework. So here I am at their page on github.com. So we have the Ghost Framework. So what it does is that it allows us to connect through Android Debug Bridge and be able to do our command and control from there. So really great tool on that. So over here, of course, we got a Ghost Framework and you can actually download a file directly either through Git clone or you can actually download a file from github.com. So once we're in, over here I got Kali Linux running, so I can actually open a new terminal, and of course I can zoom in a little, so it's easier for you to see and learn. So I can enter ls, and I can cd or change directory into ghost, and I can enter ls-l to see all the files and folders. So over here I already got the install.sh executed, so all you gotta do is use chmod plus x, so that would actually allow you to change the permission into executable for the install.sh. So you go ahead and do that, and enter dot slash install.sh, and that will begin the installation process of Ghost. And it will start downloading all the dependencies required to run the Ghost framework. So once you have the framework being in place and you've installed it completely into your Kali Linux box, the next thing you can do is just go ahead and enter sudo ghost. So ghost does require us to have super user privileges in order to run it. So go ahead and hit enter on that and enter Kali for your password. So again, whatever password you have set for Kali Linux, go ahead and enter for that. So, of course, the default one for Kali is Kali. So, here we are in the Ghost Framework version 5.0. And all you got to do is enter help. So, help would actually show us all the commands available as part of the Ghost Framework. So, of course, in this case, we got clear, disconnect, connect, exit, help, and update of the Ghost Framework. So, of course, there were a lot of questions previously about using Android Debug Bridge and how we were trying to get access into the system. So again, I want to highlight on a previous video that we were doing on the cyber attack chain is that this is what we call the delivery mechanism, the delivery phase. And in the delivery phase, there are many different options that we can use. We can use USB, we can use wireless, and of course, in this case, we're using Android Debug Bridge, or we could also begin using email as payload so that when users click onto the payload, the macro Excel or the link or the phishing link that we use will be able to gain access into your machine. So Android Debug Bridge is just one of those delivery mechanisms. Mechanisms. And of course, how can I highlight that? I can highlight that by going into Shodan. So Shodan is a Internet of Things crawler. So it crawls through the whole Internet, trying to find out all these Internet of Things devices. So your web cameras, your Android devices. And of course, in this case, we're going to look for Android Debug Breach. And it can also look for databases, SCADR systems, and so on. So great tool. And I have an account here. So wonderful platform to, to look at. So all you got to do is enter Android Debug Breach and hit enter on that. So that would show all the IP addresses that have Android Debug Breach available inside Shodan that has crawled through the whole internet. So you click on search on that and this would actually show all the IP addresses of the Android devices that we can connect into. So of course, I am going to gray out all this information. And of course, this is where we go back into Colonix and we can try to connect into the system. So really, really interesting way of trying to look at how we can control the Android devices through this delivery mechanism. So great way to think about it. So over here, we got a Grails framework. So we got to do is connect and followed by the IP address of the Android device. So of course, in my case, I actually have my own Android device running. So here is my own Android device, and we are going to connect to it directly. So again, if you manage to find all these Android devices onto the internet, this is again, one of those methods that you can do your delivery mechanism. So go ahead and enter connect followed by the IP address. So of course, I have my IP address of my Android device as 192.168.1.76. So again, I really encourage or discourage you to connect into any of these IP addresses available on the internet via Android Debug Bridge because that is a huge gray area where you could be considered as trying to hack into IT devices. So once we connect to our own Android device, hit enter on that, and this would send a payload into the IP address, and now we are into the system. So we have complete control of the Android device, and I can enter help. So here we got a number of commands that we can use. So we got eat pass, we got shell, we got SUSH, open device root shell, upload local file. So a lot of different capabilities that we can actually use as part of the attack into Android devices through Android Debug Bridge. So of course, one of the very easy ways to enter sysinfo. So this would actually tell us more information about the system in question. So here is showing us a lot of information, a lot of details about the Android device. And this allow us to think about the potential exploit that we can use as part of Metasploit framework that we have learned a lot 
through this whole YouTube channel. And of course, the next command we can also look at could also be on the netstat to find out what are some of the network sessions available as part of the Android device. So here we can see a lot of information. And some of this information could be really sensitive information that we can see and find out a lot from from the system. So I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer any of your questions. So remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.